So what's better than having a nice bottle of Eagle Rare 10 year old bourbon to drink? Well, let me tell you. It's having two bottles of Eagle Rare. That's right. So what are the differences between these two bottles? Well, today we're going to look at the differences and see if a beginner palate like mine can actually tell the difference between the two. Hello and welcome to Lacorious George. My name is George and today I'm going to be guiding all of you through my curiosity with Eagle Rare Bourbon. Specifically, I'm curious as to whether or not my palate's going to be able to tell the difference between this bottle of Eagle Rare 10, which is the regular release, and this bottle of Eagle Rare 10, which is the single barrel store release that I have. Eagle Rare is one of the pretty well-known bourbons distilled by Buffalo Trace. It's pretty sought after, enough so that it's on the allocated whiskey list. So depending on where you live, it might be pretty difficult to get your hands on them. I know I just wanted to make this video to show everyone that I was able to get my hands on two. Just kidding. Really, some people have a preference as to one or the other, but that's what we're going to take a look at today to see if I can even tell the difference between the two. So let's get into the stats and compare on these particular bottles. So what's nice here is that for comparison's sake, everything is the same with these two bottles. They're both Kentucky Trade bourbons. They're both aged 10 years. Um, and they're both coming in at 45% alcohol. So really the only difference here is that this release here has the little sticker, right? Denoting that it's a single barrel pick. So we have this bottle coming from a single barrel versus this one, which might've come from multiple barrels that kind of get mixed together. All right, so I've had these poured out completely blind to me. Um, so, you know, this bottle here being the single barrel, I'm not saying that this is necessarily the one that's in this glass here and vice versa. Uh, I had my wife pour these out, so they were completely blind to me. And then she wrote down which one is which and put it on a piece of paper that is in this box right here. So I will take a look at this at the end once we're done, just to see which one is which. But they're completely blind to me, so that way I don't have any sort of bias. Not that I've had enough whiskey to have a bias at this point, but we want to take everything off the table. So we're going to take a look at left here. All right, so the left one. Definitely, I love the nose on this. It's a very good, nice bourbon nose. If you smell bourbon before, you know what I'm talking about. So it comes off really sweet. Not too, too much alcohol because, you know, it's only about 45% here. What's nice too is you get a lot of sweetness on it. But the oak and the kind of woodiness comes in afterwards. So it's definitely got some toffee on there, caramels. That's what you would expect, I think, if you're, you've ever had Eagle Rare before. All right, let's take a look at the other one here. Yes, I'm smelling my arm, by the way. I read somewhere that you could smell your arm and it kind of clears your palate out. I don't know if it's real, so I look like a fool doing it. That's fine. On to the right. Well, I will say, maybe it's because it's the second one I smelled. So let me see if I can't smell and clear out my nostrils again. But I'd say the nose isn't quite as much of a punch as this one here on the left was. You're still getting the sweetness to it. I'm not sure I'm getting as much wood, but I will say I'm able to pick out vanilla in this one a little bit more than that one. Still a very good nose, very good bourbon nose on it. I could probably sit here and smell this all day. So if anyone knows that they've made like a cologne or an air freshener that's a uh, bourbon, you know, let me know. Okay, well, on the nose, maybe some slight differences. Again, maybe it's because it's the second one I smelled. Let me go back to this one just real quick. But yeah, this one has a little bit more of a punchiness to it on the left here. On the nose, at least. They have similar notes, but I'd say it's a little more punchy. That's how I would describe it. Maybe it's just that forward oak that's kind of punching there. So I'd say that's the really only difference I recognize on the nose. And I think because of it, the one on the right here, I'm able to pick up vanilla a little bit better, which is... Odd to me. I think this is the first time I've done a side-by-side -side like this. So it's interesting to see. If we want to look at the color here, just to see if we can see it much. Color's pretty similar, right? That's the one on the right. This is the one on the left, right? So the color on it's pretty close. Um, pretty similar there, you know, which makes sense considering both of them are aged, you know, for a minimum of 10 years. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily expect there to be much of a color difference, but you know, they look pretty darn close here in the lighting. All right, quick second here, just saying that if you liked the video so far, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It's gonna let me know, give me some feedback. 
that you're liking the content that's in this video. And for the future, when I'm putting out content, I can steer things more towards what's in here. While we're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you stay up to date with everything that's going on here on the channel, as well as not missing any of these fantastic riveting videos when I put them out. All right, so let's take a taste on the palette and see if we can tell. You know what, I'm gonna start with the right one this time because I started with the left last time. Oh, that's nice and smooth. So if you've ever had Eagle Rare, you know that it's pretty smooth whiskey. You know, again, it's only 45%, but still very smooth on the palate. So right off, I get the typical bourbon notes. You get some vanilla, you get some sweetness, kind of like a honey there. Definitely still some oakiness, but I don't think there's as much, I don't get as much oakiness on the palate here as I do from the nose. Yeah, so second sip there on the one on the right. You're getting some of the spice coming through. Some of those baking spices that you usually get from charred barrels. Yeah, the sweetness, the honey, caramel. Again, just really good bourbon overall. All right, let me take a sip of water and try the one on the left. I'll tell you, if I did this all day, it wouldn't be half bad. Okay, wow. So I can definitely tell the difference between these two. This one here with the punchier nose on it, on the one on the left, I instantly got that caramel taste to it. This one here, it took a little bit for it to come out. The one on the left here, that caramel came straight away. So right when I took that down, I got that really nice caramel notes. As punchy as the nose on it is, I almost feel like it's slightly smoother than the one here on the right. And again, I'll jump back here to the right too, just to make sure it's not because this is the second one I had. But yeah, on the palate there, that caramel came through straight. Definitely some of those toffee notes to it. Also too, I didn't mention it much on the one on here on the right, but the mouthfeel of it, this one feels a little more oily, I think to me than that one on the right. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so it's similar to this one. The second sip, the spices are coming out a bit. But again, the, the palate on this one is much more, I'd say intense. You know, you're definitely getting the toffee, the, the caramel, the sweetness, you know, a little bit of that honey in this one. Um, and the spice is coming out, but I think it's just a little more intense than this one here on the right. I also feel while the nose on this one, I got more of the oaky kind of hints to it than the one on the right. On the palate, it's kind of the opposite. I'm getting way more of the sweetness on the one here on the left than I did on the right, which is odd. I have no idea how that works, but that just happens to be how it is. Let me go back to the right here just to make sure. Yeah, the, the palettes here are definitely different. This one, the caramel came through straight. This one, it took a, you know, maybe a few seconds for the caramel to hit. And maybe it was something a little bit, it was a different sweetness, maybe like a honey first, but the spices hit quicker on this one to the right than it did here on the left. So what's interesting to me is that, again, this is the first time I've ever done a side-by-side -side with things like this. It's kind of crazy to me that I can actually tell the difference between the two. So like I was mentioning before, the mouthfeel on this one here on the left is a little more oily than the one here on the right. I'm curious if you just look at the two glasses and watch the legs come down. You guys probably can't see that at all on the camera, but if I'm looking at it here, you can kind of see it a little bit more with the one on the left than the right, as they do seem to be holding up a little bit more on the left. So it kind of goes along with what I was saying, that it's got a little bit more of a, a thicker, oily mouthfeel on the one on the left. I'll tell you, either way, I can tell a difference. I'm curious as to which one is which. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the box. In the box. All right, here we go. Results are in. All right, the store pick is the one on my left. Okay, can we see that? Store pick left, non store pick right. So, this one here that I was talking about that had a little bit more of an intense nose to it um, and a little bit thicker viscosity to it um, is the store pick. This one here is the normal. Um, 
It just so happened that the bottles matched up with the two. So yes, so I'm not lying. I did pour this blind and yeah, it just so happened that I put the bottles next to it. And honestly, the more I read and, and look into single barrel versus the normal release is it's got characteristics. I think that you would expect out of a single barrel. If I had to just guess, off the top of my head, I would have said that this one was probably the single barrel. You know, a lot of people will say with a single barrel, the the flavors, the aromas, those kinds of things are a little bit more intense. Um, again, because you're not mixing with a bunch of things, so it doesn't mute things down. And from what I've at least tried for single barrels, they tend to be a little bit more thick on the mouthfeel. That might just be me. But yeah, I'm totally digging this, both the regular release and the store pick. Like I said, both of these are delicious. I'm telling you, whether you get your hands on a store pick or the one, the normal release, you're not gonna go wrong. Both of these are fantastic. If you've ever had Eagle Rare before, you know what I'm talking about. It's a really good solid bourbon. I really like the nose on it, the mouthfeel. I think the 45% alcohol does nice because it doesn't have too much of a burn on it, but you still get some of that spiciness and kick to it. But overall, what's interesting to me was that even with my palate and the limited number of whiskeys I've had, I can actually tell the difference between these two. So I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back for that. All right, everyone, so let me know down in the comments if you've ever had experience with either one of the Eagle Rare bottles, whether it's the regular release or maybe it's a store pick that you got somewhere close to you. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like it? Do you think there's a difference between the two? Both of them are fantastic. I love both of them. But let's start a convo. What do you think down in the comments? I'm about ready to wrap up and I gotta finish these two. So until next time, stay curious and cheers.